We definitely are. I definitely dove into the breakup that we didn't talk about online because at the time we were processing and it's a hard thing to do that publicly. Um, so I felt like I was ready to tell my story. Um, and I definitely had him read it and get approval. Um, I tried to share just my side of things. Again, it's not, it's my book. It's not my place to tell anyone else's story. And he's told his side and his stories. So I feel like a lot of it is in there. There's a few details that will always just remain between us, but it's pretty, it's pretty juicy, I would say. It's really thorough. Yeah, it's thorough. Yeah. It's therapeutic. That one makes me cry every every time I reread it. Yeah. I was gonna say, is it something that you like wrote and you put down and you don't look at, or have you gone back and reread and sort of do you kind of because you sort of have to reopen those wounds every time you read. Yeah, I mean, I don't like sit back and like read my book at home, you know. But like, in why not? <laughs> if I wrote a book, I would read it every day. In editing it, and then we did the audio book as well. And he came and read the forward, and we both had a good cry then. So yeah, it's kind of op reopening wounds, but you're seeing it from such a different standpoint now, right? We've both moved on, and we both have processed. So it's almost like nostalgic in a way. 